Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video. Um, shouting losing Louie out here on this video. Uh, he did a video yesterday on cigar boxes, and I wanted to show you guys a cigar box that I got about 20 years ago. And believe it or not, it still smells like the cigars <laughs> absolutely amazing um it's a liquid acid cigar box open it up and it is my coin slab collecting box um you can see here in liquid acid by drew estate pretty cool absolutely love this box and the smell of it and i wish you guys could smell it and it's absolutely amazing um while we're here i'll pull out some of these coins for you okay i am back um that box holds 36 slabbed coins and i'll take you through and look at them real quick here i have this certificate of authenticity for this little lady right here it says that this certifies and guarantees that each 2017 Statue of Liberty $5 coin is a genuine non-circulating legal tender issue of the Cook Islands each features the Statue of Liberty her torch held high with the American flag waving behind her and on the obverse or that is the obverse and on the reverse portrays the famous Liberty Bell standing as a tribute to the United States of America along with the official Cook Islands what is that? imprimatur I don't know what that means but um, and a five dollar denomination each privately minted piece is struck in t point 24 uh, carat gold and conforms to these specifications the diameter is 16 millimeters it weighs uh, tenth of an ounce strike is individually struck proof gold purity is uh, 0.24 fine registration number is here 4556317 says fill in the order registration number from your invoice and order registration form Certified by Angela Marie Bay Buchanan, 37th Treasurer of the United States, Co-Director of the NCM Board of Advisors, and certified also by Barry M. Goldwater, Jr., 14-year member, House of Representatives, Co-Director, NCM Board of Advisors. All right, this is the little five dollar gold. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we have on the reverse the Liberty Bell, and it notes that it's a five dollar gold coin, it's a one tenth ounce. 24 karat pure gold on the bottom it states that right here and then it says a tribute to the United States Cook Islands above the Liberty Bell right there right there so that's pretty pretty cool um we bought this one in 2012 the Australian one dollar coin 
Koala, high relief, burst release, PF70 Ultra Cameo by NGC. On the back is the Queen. And I have, and this is the little informational pamphlet that come with the high relief Koala. And I have the PCGS Bronze Abraham Lincoln commemorative medal and on the reverse of that let's see what it says it says inaugurated president of the United States March 4 Second term, March 4th, 1866. Assassinated April 14th, 1865. Is that right? I guess that's right. I don't know. Doesn't make much sense, but alright. Um, then I have the 2013. This box is pretty much a 2013 box. I have a bunch of 2013 coins in here, you'll notice. Uh, this one's the Year of the Snake, NGC, MS69. One of the first 1,000 struck. Um, then we have the Australian Wedgetail Eagle, MS70. Signed by John McCanny. And we have the 2014 Saltwater Crocodile. Early release. MS-70. And we have the PCGS MS-70 Australia First Strike. And we have the 2015 Early Releases Proof 70 Ultra Cameo and the 2015 PCGS Australian Funnel Web Spider and we got another funnel and another funnel <laughs> those web spiders just kept on coming I had a buddy that I was trading a lot with and he just kept on bringing them over and obviously I I just kept on taking them um, got a 1999 ICG and a 69 Silver Eagle And Annex MS70 or PR Proof 70 DCAM, one of the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint first strike coins, numbered 235 of 351. And we have a 1988 MS69 American Silver Eagle and an Annex MS70. Silver Eagle for 2010. That's first release numbered 615 of 2789. And we have the 2017 Congratulations set first release Proof 70 Ultra Cameo signed by John Mercani over here. And then we have the 2016 MS70 Annex Shop CSN TV exclusive. Certified numbered from Annex number 458 of 3289. Um, I like that Mike Mizak. Pretty informative. Don't like a lot of his prices, but um, he's got a lot of nice stuff over there. And I do regularly buy from them. 
A lot of you might think I'm crazy for doing so, but they, they always have the first of the graded stuff, and I'm into slab coins, so I pay the little extra. And, but they take good care of me over there. Um, they always eat the the um, shipping handling for me, and they give me special stuff every now and again. So it all works out in the long run. Um, I have a 1921 Morgan, brilliant uncirculated. Paid 44 bucks for that one. It's an S. And then I got this 1995P Proof Silver Eagle. It's a PF66 Decam. But what's funny about this one is that if you look at it, it's a 1994 coin. They messed up when they did this coin. And I ended up with it took it to my local coin shop, my LCS, and they said that it's not not a big deal. I could send that back to like NGC or somebody and have them put the the new title on it being a 1994 proof, but I think it's kind of cool the way it is now. Um, then we have the 2016 Eagles, first release, MS-70, signed by John Mercani. You got two of them. One's mine, one's my dad's. I have the 2015 Australian Saltwater Crack, PF-70 Ultra Cameo, and then a, another 1994 Eagle, MS-67. I liked the 94s because 94 is the year I graduated. So it's got a little special meaning for me. And it's pretty cool. I collect anything that's 94, whether it be 1894 or um, 1794. Eh, you know what I'm saying. Um, I do the same with my birthdays. 1975, my boy's uh, birth years, 1995 and 97, I don't know, just weird like that, but then I have the 2013 W Eagle, first releases, MS-70, graded by NGC over here. And then I have a San Francisco Mint 2013 S Eagle MS-69 over here. Then I have another 13 Eagle W first releases MS-70, a 1987 MS-69 by PCGS, a 2013 W Eagle Early releases, MS-70 with the heart, the purple heart. I, I like that. But, you know, you're not buying the, the, um, the labels. Just keep that in mind. Um, got the 2013 W. PCGS MS-70 First Strike, the 2013 W First Strike from PCGS MS-69, a Peace Dollar 1925 MS-64, I paid 55 for, probably in 2012, um, then we have and 1886 O from ICG AU50 2013 West Point Eagle 
early release MS70 by NGC. Another 2013 Eagle first release MS70 by NGC. And then an 18830 by PCGS MS63. And that, my friends, is 15 minutes of uh, mind numbing stuff for you. <laughs> uh, not to bore you, but uh, this is part of my collection. Thought I'd share it with you guys today. Like, share, subscribe. And comment, do all that fun stuff, and I will be in contact with you guys. I've been slagging off all day, running around, doing a bunch of nonsense, and I need to get jump into my videos and start commenting and getting back with a bunch of you guys. So, I'm going to leave it at that in 16 minutes. Jeez. Talk to y'all later. Take care. Good care. Bye, guys.